and welcome to the ultimate coffee taste off. Two, four. Yours look pathetic. Oh, we're testing everything on this show. We've been coffee connoisseuring for the last good few years. Over here is a coffee bean extractor and over here is a capsule machine. We're testing the taste like the lovely co-host said. We're also testing the price, the cleansiness, how easy is it to clean? You know, which is the better one overall for you? Mm. So first up, the coffee machine. Mm -hmm. How does it work? Well, Ash, this works in a very fundamental basis, which means that you have to get your coffee beans at the top, which you can get from the coffee shop, and they smell divine, they smell so good. And then once you fill up your coffee grinder, you press down on the tamper. And then once that is filled up, you use your tamper over here and you place your coffee into there and you press the extraction. So it does take a little bit of hard work, but at the end, you do get a fun result. Or this one, you just lift up the lids, get a capsule, put it in, and you're off to the races. But there's more. Yes. What happens when you want to make a, a cappuccino? Well, Ash, so funny you should say that because if you want to make a cappuccino, for this gorgeous machine, you have to use your external silver pot, which you fill up with water for the desired amount, turn on your water steamer, and then you want to just steam the, the milk away, a little bit like a barista action. What about yours? Or this one over here, you pull this out, you lift the lid up, and you put milk inside, and then you just uh, press a button, and it mixes up for you. But it's more. Yes. Because cleaning up and storage. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Okay. After my milk is done, it is so simple. Just I, All I do is I rinse this out under the tap, and voila, it is super clean. Whereas this one, you kind of just take the milk and you put it in the fridge for storage. And if you leave it too long in the fridge, then you have to throw it away, clean it, scrub it, dub, you dub it. You one thing. Or you just have to press the button to clean it. Oh, yeah. You hold it down. It's mm -hmm. very, very awkward. Well, again, we're going to be showing you mm -hmm. in a live performance test yeah. very soon. But finally, what about cleaning the actual coffee at the end? Mm. So for me, what I have to do is once I've made my coffee, I take it out and I have an external bang bang machine. Yes, that's right. You heard it. A bang bang. bang and the bang. idea of the bang bang is to bang bang the tamper onto the bang bang and that cleans the machine out for you. Now with this, I do have to, we do accumulate a lot of coffee and say every week I'll have to empty this out. But what I've actually decided to do is I'm using this on my tomatoes and my cherries and all of my fruits and vegetables because I think it might be good for them. So we'll it's see. good for the environment, but I gotta say it is a bit of a mess. Like when you're bang banging, it goes a bit everywhere. This one over here, you just uh, pull out pull out one of these trays, you get all the coffee pods and you recycle them. <laughs> it's bad for the environment, all this plastic's being put to waste. Mm -hmm. So overall, this one is harder to use. How much harder you'll see in the live test. This one's a lot more convenient to use, but again, there's taste, there's the environment, there's costs. I guess you're using clean beans. That's going to be a lot cheaper buying that in bulk rather than buying lots of plastics all the time, recycling all that stuff there. So that is a great show, but what do you want to do? Do you want to do a race off? Oh my god. To gosh. see who can make it the fastest? Let's do it. Okay, first up, first up, we're doing the coffee bean machine. I'm going to hook you up with a GoPro. We're going to be timing okay. you. Okay, all right, okay. I need my equipment, I need my milk. I'll get you the milk. Let's okay, go. I love this. Oh, so excited. Woo. All right, I'm ready for this. Three, two, one, go. So I've taken this out, and now I'm going to use my tamper to press on nice and firmly to squish up the coffee and now I'm placing it inside and I got my cup and I'm ready to press the button. Let's go. And coffee extraction has begun. And now it is time to do my milk. And for this, I need to turn on my steamer and it does take a bit of time to warm up. But whilst I do that, I'm gonna pop this inside. Oh yes, bit of milk. And now I'm almost ready. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do this. So now I've waited for my steamer to heat up. It's going to literally, in 10 seconds, it's going to start working. There we go. Now I can just froth it up as much as I want. Come on. So I'm going to touch the base to see how warm it is. It's still cold. Just gonna give it a bit more time. And at the same time, I'm gonna just uh, close up the milk. And this is looking like it's turning nice and frothy. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is that? 
and that is done to how I want it. Turn off the steamer, put it on one more time, give it a clean, pop in the coffee, and voila, a beautiful, beautiful coffee. But first I need to get my bang bang. Lastly, bang bang out, pop that in, I'll wash that later, and I'll wash that later, and I'm done. Coffee is complete. That's two minutes and 10 seconds. Oh, that's actually really slow. <laughs> but doesn't that look gorgeous? Doesn't, doesn't that look gorgeous? I, I like the coffee room machine, but that was a ridiculous amount of time. So it's my turn. I'll okay. show you how, how fast this machine <laughs> You did such a poor performance. Oh was you even trying? Yes. It just literally took that long to grind it and then to steam it. What else can I do? Quicker. Oh, all right, you get to time me. Turn. How much was I? Two minutes? Then 10 seconds. Two minutes, 10. Okay. Yowzers. That's just how long it takes. Three, two, one. Okay, turn it on, get a capsule, put a capsule in. Close the capsule, open up the milk, empty this out, pour the milk inside. I'm going to overfill it because I'm going to reuse the milk. Close it up, put it in the right way. Oh no, I made a spillage. Clean it up, clean it up. It's heating up right now. I need to wait till it's fully heated up. But in the meantime, I can hit the uh, cappuccino button and I'm waiting. And there's literally nothing else for me to do right now. I'm just waiting for it to heat up. If I preheated it, like Nora had hers preheated, it would have gone straight away. But there you go, you can hear it heating up right now. And it is rocking. That's the coffee being made right now. Cappuccino, milk first. And I've chosen a froth setting of Max over here. A lot of waiting around with this machine. There's nothing really to do, but the job is not done because there's more coffee to be done. And sabotage, I need an extra component. So you need a second cup over here. Hold down this button. That cleans up the milk canister. Okay, then we empty out the capsule like that. This gets thrown away. Also need to open this up and throw away the two capsules. I'll leave that in there because there's space. But time is done. We're happy. We're good. All right, and Ash, you came in at guess how much? One minute, two minutes. <laughs> One minute 57. Whoa. <laughs> you are really not much faster than me. You are literally 10 seconds faster. That is, so, and, and you actually- I'll be honest with you, you've... yours look pathetic. Oh, that is that pathetic. Is, uh, I'm shocked. For 10 seconds, do you know what? Well, I guess we're gonna taste it. I'm shocked. To be fair, I didn't actually wash my utensils like you did, but that would take me five, like literally two but seconds. But I still need to throw this away. I'm shocked yeah, okay. because I guess this one feels faster okay. because you're not doing anything. Yeah. Whereas this one, you're doing a lot it of keeps work. Keeps you occupied. But it's still, yeah, and you, I was actually speed demon. Yeah, I was, was I was being fast. You were I like, could be faster. you was chilling. I was chilling. You I was, was chilling. enjoying my coffee experience. So this is almost as fast as this. Yeah, that's crazy. But you gotta admit, it's more consuming. There's a lot more yeah, there's more faffing around. It. But at the end of the day, look at, look, just look at my coffee compared to yours. Like, yours looks disgusting. So I think <laughs> next up is the taste test. Okay. And we want to find out if it's worth it. I think so, but can we sweeten these up, please? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have got some syrup over here, some sugar-free syrup that we're just going to pop in. Now, I think we have to put in exactly the same amount. Okay, just one pump. One full pump. Yeah. All the way down. Yeah. Okay. And I'll be just spinning them around. And I want to ask you... Mm-hmm to taste this one first. Okay. And I might have forgot which is which. Okay, you got it? Okay, oh. just hold, just hold it. Sorry. Very bitter. Really? Mm. Okay. Very bitter. That was a good one. Oh, that's much softer. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger bite. So if it cries, let it go. One, two, three, go for it. Can you give me the good one? <laughs> Tasting this. Yuck. Ew. That's nasty. <laughs> I can't believe I used to like this. I know. Is it's that is that real? Oh, that Let needs, that needs another pump. Oh, that needs another pump. No wonder we used to use so much syrup. Oh, it is nasty. This. Oh, 
It's got such a disgusting aftertaste. This one is so much nicer. I guess it uh, also it's depends on the kind of capsules you use. So maybe these weren't the best. Mm -hmm. they're, they're both the cheapest products we can find in Woolies. So they're like for like awful. But there's like a burnt taste with that yeah. one. It's like a really bad aftertaste. Just like you get hit. It's nasty. It's disgusting. It's nasty. This one's actually really tasty. It's not, yeah, it's really good. Really and tasty. something to consider. Yeah. You can mix up the blends. Just yeah. smitch up the, the beans inside. You can't do inside. that with the pods. So. Wow. Price-wise, this one's more expensive starting up, but cheaper in the long term because the beans are cheaper than the, the little capsules. Environmentally, you get to recycle this. This is way better. Grow some plants, nitrogen, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yes, absolutely. They're just as fast as each other. This one's Pretty more much. consuming. Yeah. I'm happy. That was a... I feel really pleased too. Guys, for your estate, we are hands down putting in the recommendation for a coffee bean extractor. And while this is convenient, if you're new to coffee, you'll like it like we yeah, did. But we loved this for like two years. Yeah. We thought it was the top banana. But once you try something better, mm -mm. you can't, you can't no, go back. you can't go back. Yeah. Oof. I'm actually uh, disgusted. I'm surprised, yeah. I can't believe we used to, and we used to actually like... Love it. We used to get the Nespresso pods as well. But we used to put lots of pumps. And we used to put like three pumps, so we didn't want to taste the taste of the coffee. Which is kind of... But I, I do like that you press one button, but yeah, this is the but one. this is fun, Ash. This is so much fun. Yeah. Like, who else, who else out there likes this? Because you get to pretend you're a barista. Let us know what kind of coffee machines you guys prefer. Could it be as simple as just a, maybe a kettle and some Nespresso, Nes Nescafe? Let us know in the comment section below. Hope you guys found this amazing video useful and enjoyed the show. Two, four. Mmm. Mmm, so tasty. Are you really? <laughs> you should just do it neat. You should do coffee neat no, together. I'm just saying, can you make me one? <laughs>